Bye to Jane Queen by Perna. As always, guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. So we have Aquarius Pisces Cusp. Um, and again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies and leave the rest. We have this energy of an unattached. Um, somebody is, somebody feels unattached. Um, somebody feels disconnected. Whether this is, in, whether you're feeling disconnected in a romantic relationship or in a very specific relationship, and maybe you're feeling disconnected from your from yourself. Maybe you're in this numbing type of energy at this moment in time. Um, maybe you, you feel disconnected spiritually, um, and, and it's kind of like when, and this is just a personal experience guys, so don't take it to heart. Uh, and, and I have gone through spaces like that, um, where I just feel disconnected um spiritually emotionally physically everything right and it's it's almost kind of like i'm numb right and and and, and it doesn't happen often but when it does is usually occurring because i have to pay attention to something there, there's something that i have either um been missing or have not been listening to carefully when certain things because sometimes you you need a little tweak in something whether that's in your spiritual life your physical life or whatever it is right and when you don't when you don't do those little tweaks the, the first 100 times spirit tells you um eventually you start to feel disconnected with everything personally for myself where then i have to kind of like like I have to kind of like sit with myself and be like, okay, why, why is this happening? And, 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 and kind of reassess as to what behaviors or what patterns I was following and what was trying to come through that I was continuously ignoring. Right. So there's many different ways that that we get messages and it's very different ways that we get blocked um in the sense of like blocking ourselves when we're not listening to ourselves so this feeling of numbness for some of you guys is just this needing to really listen to yourself really need to to see what it is that your body is trying to tell you and what it is that your mind is trying to tell you it is not that you are alone. It's, it is not that there's nobody out there. It is none of that. This is more of a self-reflecting time. And there are periods, right? There are times when this numbness energy does come in. Um, but it doesn't have to last that long. It doesn't have to last months or years or even weeks or even days. Um, days, excuse me. Um, the, the moment you start to feel like this numbness or this disconnect, I suggest you go ahead and spend some time with yourself, whether that is meditating or whether that is in prayer or try to spend some time in nature. Not, not so much focusing on anything or any intention other than surrendering, other than just being and feeling what is it that you're hearing what is it that you're feeling what is it that you're sensing all of those things to allow you to get the clear message right not everything has to be this um over over the top over complicated situation um so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love energy card now your love energy can be any type of relationship romantic platonic um spirituality and um, with yourself. So we have the card, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with your joy. A lot of you have been in an energy of kind of like this, just going, just doing, just just be, like, it, 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 I shouldn't even say just being. Um, just, it's almost kind of like you've just been on this clock just going and going and going and going and going and not really giving yourself the opportunity to follow your passion. A lot of you are finding yourself this numbness that you're feeling is because there are things that you want to pursue. There are things that you are passionate about but you haven't taken those steps forward. So 
is kind of like now you're ha you're finding yourself dissatisfied let's put it this way with the day to day whether that's work whether that's at home school whatever it is uh, so for those of you that have a passion for something and you have not been engaging in it um, I, I highly suggest that you begin to even if it is just you know once you know, once a week, even if it is 10 minutes a day or whatever it is, but you should always do something that you're passionate about, at least, I would say at least every day, um, <laughs> even if it is just for a few minutes, um, things that bring you joy, life, you know, being here in this experience, it should not be literally draining and sucking the life out of you every single day and every single moment, guys, guys. So let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card for your closing message. <clears throat> trust. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So what is this numbness feeling trying to tell you? What is this um, feeling of unattachment trying to tell you? There, there, there's almost kind of like something is something is missing, but what? Right? But I have, I have everything I wanted. I have the house, I have the car, I have the relationship. So why do I feel so, so empty? Why do I feel so unattached? A lot of you have been living your life based on what society has has told you to do. A lot of the goals and a lot of the dreams that you chase were things that were installed in you, either by society, by your family, or whatever it is. You never really gave yourself the chance to really follow your passion, to really follow that purpose. Now, different people look at this and see this in different ways. And people say, well, um, th there was a guy that I was listening to and I don't remember his name and I haven't really looked into him, but I, I, I am going to because I want to see what the base of his thing is. He said that he, he's a writer. And he's very successful, like, you know, when it comes to writing. And he says, oh, you can't do what you're passionate about because it's never going to bring you money. And then he says, I hate writing, but I'm good at it. So I have to write in order to to have the life that I want. And to me, that kind of like felt wrong because like I've always lived my life the other way. It's like I say, do what you love and what you're passionate about and you'll never work a day in your life. Right. And. Uh, like I said, I have to do research on him. I honestly don't think I'm actually going to read any of his books because if you're not passionate about writing and you don't love writing, then I don't care how good your writing is. I'm probably not going to read it. I'm being completely honest. So, but the fact to me that a lot of people live their life like that, it's like I cannot picture myself going to work for, you know... If I was working for someone else, going to work for eight or ten hours and being miserable the entire time, and that's that is a lot of people's reality. Now, I, you know, my my first job was at a tuxedo company, so I was in sales. Um, so I used to do um, rentals and sales for um, for tux and suits, and this was back when I was in high school, and. It was something that was intriguing to me. Um, more, like, you know, most of my siblings or whatever, they all started with their first job at the same place. It was McDonald's. I couldn't see myself working, not because I was thought I was better or anything like that. I just, I just didn't, I don't know. There was something about that environment um, where, to me, at that moment, there was nothing that I could learn, right? Um, because it wasn't like I was going to be working in a kitchen where I can actually learn to cook different things, right? So I was, even at that age, at 16, I was always looking for something that was going to teach me something I didn't know. So I started cooking when I was like 13. So I knew how to cook, right? And, and McDonald's and stuff like that wasn't something that we normally ate. So 
I ended up looking for a job that was going to challenge me, right? Because I, when it came to my speech, because of um, I'm bilingual, Spanish is my first language and things like that. I have a, I have an accent, and I was always very um, shy or afraid of putting myself out there with um, communicating and talking to people. So that job. I, I, it helped me a lot with communication, not just with other people, but with myself. And it challenged me in a way that when I look at it, like I am so grateful that I was given that opportunity because I was only 16. And, but what I'm trying to say was that I, I started doing it, but even though it wasn't something that I was passionate about at the time, I was passionate about the learning. I was passionate about the experience. And that was like an amazing job. Now we worked our asses off, but we had fun. Like it was just a very beautiful group and we just had fun. So when I graduated high school and I was going to nursing school, um, I ended up working for another um, place, um, a bigger company doing the same thing and I loved it so then when I started working as a nurse again there, there were places where I worked that I wasn't it wasn't that I didn't like what I did I wasn't comfortable with the politics of it right so I went to a place where I was comfortable with the politics so that then I can pursue my passion for nursing while I was doing that and that's kind of like what you're being reminded of at this time if what you are doing is not bringing you any passion it's not bringing you any joy then that is probably what why you feel so unattached and you feel so numb well guys that is all that i have sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all bye bye